Have you ever wondered about the early life of Fred Hampton, the charismatic Black Panther leader? Born on August 30th, 1948, in the sun-drenched state of Louisiana, Fred Hampton was an individual whose legacy would shape the course of American history. The son of Francis and Iberia Hampton, who were both workers in the agricultural industry, his family moved to the bustling city of Chicago when he was just a toddler. This transition from the rural south to the urban north would significantly influence young Hampton's perspective and worldview. Growing up in the suburb of Maywood, Hampton was exposed to the harsh realities of racial inequality from an early age. Yet, he was not one to be crushed by the weight of injustice. Instead, he used these experiences to fuel his passion for equality, justice, and social change. An excellent student, Hampton was renowned for his eloquence and persuasive abilities, traits that would later serve him well in his leadership roles. His talent for leadership was evident even in his teenage years. At the tender age of 15, he became the president of the NAACP youth chapter in his hometown. This was no small feat for someone so young, but Hampton was not your average teenager. He was passionate, driven, and dedicated to improving the lives of African Americans in Maywood. Under his leadership, the NAACP youth chapter grew from a few dozen members to over 700 strong. Hampton's initiatives ranged from organizing community cleanups to fighting for better educational resources for African American students. But this was just the beginning of Hampton's journey. His early experiences would shape his ideology and leadership style, preparing him for the pivotal role he would play in the Black Panther Party, his charisma, Intelligence and unwavering commitment to social justice would make him a beacon of hope for many, even as his life was cut tragically short. Hampton's early life set the stage for his future role as a leader in the Black Panther Party. While most know of Hampton's role in the Black Panther Party, what often goes unnoticed is his role in negotiating a non-aggression pact among Chicago's street gangs. Fred Hampton's charisma was legendary and his influence extended far beyond the confines of the Black Panther Party. One of his most remarkable achievements was his role in the formation of the Rainbow Coalition. Hampton's rise within the Black Panther Party was meteoric. As a young man in his early 20s, he quickly ascended to the position of chairman in the Illinois chapter. His powerful speeches and his unyielding dedication to the cause of black empowerment made him a force to be reckoned with. But Hampton's leadership went beyond mere rhetoric. He was a man of action, and he used his position within the party to address the rampant violence in Chicago. Hampton believed that the street gangs, often seen as part of the problem, could be part of the solution. His vision was to unite these disparate groups under a common cause, the fight against racial and economic injustice. This led to the formation of the Rainbow Coalition, a groundbreaking alliance between the Black Panther Party, the Young Lords, a Puerto Rican gang, and the Young Patriots, a white Southern migrant gang. Hampton's ability to bridge the racial and cultural divides between these groups was nothing short of extraordinary. He convinced them to put aside their differences and work together towards a common goal. It was a risky endeavor, but Hampton's negotiation skills and his unwavering belief in the cause paid off. The Rainbow Coalition became a powerful force in Chicago, working together to combat police brutality, improve access to health care, and fight for better living conditions for all. Hampton's role in the Rainbow Coalition is a testament to his unique leadership style. He saw potential where others saw problems, he saw allies where others saw enemies, and he saw a way to bring peace where others saw only conflict. Hampton's ability to unite rival factions under the Rainbow Coalition banner was a testament to his leadership and vision. His work serves as a powerful reminder of the impact one person can have when they choose to see the world not as it is, but as it could be. The tragic end of Fred Hampton is well known, but did you know that he was drugged before the fatal raid on his apartment? This chilling revelation underlines the sinister circumstances surrounding his premature demise. Fred Hampton, a charismatic leader of the Black Panther Party, met his tragic end on December 4, 1969, at the tender age of 21. But this was no ordinary event. It was a meticulously planned operation, a terrifying collusion of betrayal and governmental oversight. The crucial player in this tragic tale was William O'Neill, an FBI informant deeply embedded within the Black Panther Party. 
O'Neill was tasked with the dark duty of drugging Hampton on the eve of the raid. He slipped a powerful sedative into Hampton's drink, rendering the young leader unconscious when the police stormed his apartment in the early morning hours. The raid was swift, brutal and fatal. Hampton, still under the effects of the sedative, was shot in his bed, unable to defend himself or escape. The controversy surrounding his death was immediate and intense, with many accusing the FBI and Chicago police of outright assassination. The aftermath of Hampton's death saw a whirlwind of court cases with the Hampton family and the survivors of the raid suing the government for $147 million. The case was settled in 1982 with the government agreeing to pay $1.85 million. However, this settlement could not erase the tragic loss of a promising young leader, nor could it fully expose the extent of the government's complicity in his death. Hampton's death was a tragic end to a life dedicated to fighting for equality and justice. His story serves as a stark reminder of the lengths to which the powers that be will go to silence voices of dissent and the immense courage it takes to stand up against such forces. Though Hampton's life was short, his impact was immense, but what are the lesser known aspects of his legacy? Let's take a moment to reflect. From his formative years, Hampton was a beacon of hope and a voice for the marginalized. His passionate advocacy for racial equality and social justice defined his role in the Black Panther Party. Despite the tragic circumstances that ended his life, his spirit wasn't extinguished. In the heart of Chicago, his influence remains palpable. The Free Breakfast for School Children program, which he championed, laid the groundwork for the nationwide school lunch programs we see today. His calls for unity against systemic oppression continue to echo in the city's streets. Hampton's legacy is not just a memory, but a living, breathing force that continues to shape our world. His life may have been cut short, but his ideals live on. Fred Hampton's legacy continues to inspire and influence, reminding us of the power of unity and courage in the face of adversity. Thank you for watching our video on Fred Hampton, Unveiling the Unknown. We hope you found this deep dive into Hampton's life and legacy both informative and inspiring, shedding light on a figure whose influence continues to resonate in our world today. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about such influential personalities, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support allows us to continue researching, curating and sharing these important stories. Remember, each subscription, like and share enables us to bring more such narratives to light, narratives that shape our understanding of history and continue to impact our present. Thank you for being part of our journey and we can't wait to share our next story with you. Stay tuned. Uh, before we wrap things up, we've got a little something to test your knowledge and to see how well you were paying attention during this video. We've put together a short quiz about Fred Hampton's life and legacy. Here are the questions. One. What year was Fred Hampton born? 1. Can you name the initiative Hampton led that provided free breakfast to school children? 1. What was the main principle of Hampton's Rainbow Coalition? Leave your answers in the comment section below and we will reveal the correct answers in our next video. This is not just a test, but a fun way for you to engage with the content and learn more about important figures like Fred Hampton. We encourage our viewers to participate and share their answers. Who knows, you might just be our next quiz champion. Remember, learning is more fun when it's interactive, so get those answers rolling in and let's keep the conversation going.